Hi, my muddy people. I forgot to say a huge thank you to Karen at Bearhead Pottery for the intro that she did for me. So yay, I love it so much. Thank you, Karen. Stay watching for my video, bye. Hi, my muddy people, welcome back. I'm Nat at Mud Magic. Thank you for joining me again for another session on Stevie the Wonder Wheel. Well, I'm thinking of changing his name to Fabio now. <laughs> if you didn't catch my live, thanks for Chase for that one. You have to go and have a look why. Uh, I love that name, Fabio. <laughs> but I love Stevie the Wonder Wheel too, so I don't know. So anyway, uh, Vicky asked me if I would show a video throwing a double wall, double wall pot because I was wanting to throw one anyway. So I, my plan is that I want this to be a bud vase. So I don't understand people that throw the double walls and leave them and they're heavy and they're hollow, but you can't tell that they're a double wall pot. So I always carve my outside wall. That's the purpose of them, I think. So um, the inside wall obviously will be the vase, will hold the water, and then the outside wall, I plan on carving holes through it, but you know what I'm like, I'll probably change it, but you'll see. Uh, I'm going to change the thumbnail to be the end piece once it comes through Freddy, so, but I'm gonna put the post up straight away once it's done. Uh, I'm not gonna show trimming it or anything because I hate trimming this shape. You've gotta do it on, on either a chuck or I use a, um, the these sort of like I've got all different shapes uh, sorry different sizes I've shown them before of these little terracotta pots so you just put it inside with um, I mean that won't be big enough but I've got heaps bigger ones clay on the rim and trim them like that on my Giffen green but I hate doing it so I'm not showing it because <laughs> I don't have to because it's my, pot, my channel <laughs> so I have shown trimming in my last video, but it wasn't this kind of shape. So uh, let's just get into it. So I've centered it already. So you start the same way. Let's go down in the middle and out, but you want to keep your wall quite thick when you go out because you want to split the wall. So you're going to go down in the middle of the wall when you split it. It's down and out. And then just the same as always, compress your base. Uh, I don't tend to do a foot on a vase because they're already heavy enough with water and everything and especially being double walled. So I'm just going to push that down, compress it because I don't need the thickness for a foot. So then, as you can see, got quite a thick wall there. Let me just bring it out a tiny bit more. And then what I plan to do, again, it's just a plan. <laughs> Split the wall, the, um, do the, the belly part, and then do the belly part outside, join them together. And then the stem part, just do as one single wall because you don't have water there anyway. So I can still carve through it if I decide I want to, I don't know. Uh, but I'm just gonna split the bottom part. That's my plan, we shall see. I don't know. It could end up a bowl, as I've said to you before. And if it does, it does. As I've said to you before with these, well, with anything I throw, I, let it, I like to let it be what it wants to be. So the same as when you do a chip and then um, attach chip and dip, you just push down in between the two, your thumb or your finger, keep it nice and wet. If you haven't done, if you haven't made an attached chip and dip, you probably shouldn't be attempting a <laughs> double wall pot. That would be my advice. Go and do a chip and dip first, get the feel for it. Get the feel for splitting clay like this. It's much easier on a chip and dip. Uh, and then go step up to doing an, an a double wall because you've got to um, join these together and it's a bit, just a little bit more advanced. It's not massively, but splitting um, the wall for a chip and dip will give you the feel for how to do that. So, so you get the, the split down to about the same depth as your inside. So they're both the same 
similar depth and then it can be quite hard to get your finger in there to pull up so i pull the well you, you should pull the middle wall first so otherwise you've got no hope if you've got an outside wall you're never going to be able to pull your inside wall so you're not going to really be able to get your knuckle in there so i just use my finger and pull it up and as i said i only really want this to be the belly part so i don't have a terrible amount of clay in the middle here and it is hard to know where to split you all like it's it's practice and i haven't done too many of these yet to know to have the feel for it so you just have to learn just have to play and practice more and more and more that you do the better you'll get at it this is my first bud vase one i've done bowls and i tried to do a cup and the cup worked for this inside part as you can see but the outside part is so wide because you want to be able to carve it you need that gap in between that it was just too big for a cup even though the inside to hold your liquid was fine like this would be the the outside was too big <laughs> you would have been drinking like this so i was not successful well just dug my finger in. not to say that you can't do it uh, but my attempt was not successful so let's just keep trying to pull this bit And then you want to, even though I'm, I'm kind of tempted to bring it in a bit like that, at the same time, you want to attach, these two have to attach back together. So you can't bring this in too much or you're going to be kind of, won't be able to carve in between them because there won't be any gap. But again, that's all just winging it, learning, seeing what works. There's a lot of water in there. I'm just trying to get out. So I've got quite a bit of clay still on the outside here, but that's because I'm going to need it for the neck as well. So I'll just see if I can bring this up a little bit more. Because really the inside is not, this inside part is not really the shape. You're not really going to, You'll see this through the carving, but it's the outside. This is going to be the shape of your vase that people are really going to notice. So this inside, you kind of, if you can keep it in skinny and up kind of thing, then it gives you more room to carve between the two walls, which is what I want to do. And again, you want to try and compress your walls. Could be famous last words. <laughs> so it's when you do things like that it's so easy to chunk into the outside wall with the rim that's all right okay so you want to try and get i'm trying to get all this water out now because once you enclose it duh you can't get it out <laughs> until you carve it and then it's too late it's sat in there and soaked and it's going to give you s cracks so the best that you can get that water out now, the better you will be with your pot. The happier you will be with your pot. Alright, so let's go with the outside. So this is where it's quite hard because you've got to get your, you've got to keep the walls close because you've got to attach them together at the top. But at the same time, you want room to carve between the two walls. So it's really hard get your fingers in between those two walls especially when you've got pudgy fat fingers like me <laughs> you've got skinny little fingers like trace it's okay so this is the other thing that's hard to gauge how much clay you need on the outside compared to the inside because um 
you've got to now bring this up and around and in and over the inside wall. And you also want, um, you want, because you're going to be carving it, you don't want this outside wall to be too thick either. Because then when you carve it, it's going to look ugly. If it's thick, if it's too thick, you'll see the thickness through your carving. So, I'm just going to put some water on it, it's pretty dry. But again, that's getting water down in the bottom. So you've got to be careful. Well, my little finger on it. good having that I've said that before it's good having that camera there because then you can see yeah um, your shape so then you want to try and bring them back in and bring them in together and touch them so that's the hard part because you want to attach them at the top so you want to do it really 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 slowly because you still want to you want to attach them at the top but you want to have that gap still where you can then carve your holes or car whatever carving you want to do you still want to have that um the gap between the two walls so that you can carve them so i'm just going to bring that up a bit so let's see if i can bring you over this will be interesting without dropping you so you can see I've got the two walls there and now I'm going to try and bring them together while keeping that gap and attach them together and then bring up the um, bud vase part. So you can use your, might use my rib here too, but I might bring up before I do that. Because like a bud vase should be a lot thinner in here, but I can get that at trimming as I've said before it is quite delicate now trying to put my fingers back in there to bring up all this clay but it would be good to have it at the top so I can use it for the um, the stem part so I feel like I'm not going to have anything for the stem as I said I haven't done this before so bear with me we shall see. <laughs> it might still be a bowl. So using a rib is always good anyway because it compresses your walls. But you can slowly, slowly when you're trying to bring walls back together, you just want to do it slowly. If you rush it, you're just, just going to collapse on you. So they just sort of like will kiss together and being a bud vase it doesn't really matter um, if they're the same height because um, I'm going to do the top stem bit anyway so it doesn't really matter So if you can get them to kind of kiss together there and stick together, as I said, slowly, slowly, don't force it. Okay, I hope you can see they're starting, it's a bit hard from that angle. So they've now attached. So I probably should have done that from a, a top angle. 
and I don't know that I'm going to be able to put, pull much of a, a stem on that so it might just be a little short fat bars so now by doing that and teasing them together they're now attached and you've still got that gap where it's bellied on the walls so you've still got in between the two there's a gap of air so you can kind of like you can play with it a bit now because um, there's air in there so you won't collapse it because it's sealed now you can play more with it and it won't collapse kind of like a balloon it won't it's got tension now so i can smooth out my inside as well and then i don't really know as i said before i've always just done a bowl like that and that's it more more of a bowl shape whether i can now do something with the rim because at the same time, I don't want to seal this together. So I don't want to use this clay because that's um, that's where I'm going to carve. So I've really only got this part here to play with. So I think I'm just going to have to be happy with what it is. Bring it out a bit. And um, I shouldn't have called it a bud vase in the beginning because <laughs> it's not a bud vase. But it's a vase, right? It's going to hold flowers, going to hold water. I'm calling it a vase. Maybe I should do a lid and make it into a canister. Okay, so the inside is a bit lumpy, so I'm just going to work on that a little bit. But again, I don't want to push it out too much because I don't want them to attach to each other. I just want to make it look a bit smoother to anybody who looks in there. And there you go. So that is it. So it's kind of like, it's interesting to feel because you can feel when you feel with your hands it's like a lumpy i'll show you but you can feel why because there's air in there again it's like a balloon so it won't push out i can't get the lump the bumps to push out because it's in trap enclosed it's enclosed air now but i actually don't mind it i don't know how much you can see um it's sort of like there's four walls four little indented bits but they kind of um match they match each other like four walls like a square I actually don't mind I, don't, I think it's quite quite cute so uh, I will carve that as I said with holes or I might carve it with a knife I don't know I will just decide when it's leather hard I'll trim it uh, glaze it already in my head it's changing how I want to glaze it because the form has now changed perfect example of what I say to you that things will just be what they will be when I throw and I love that so I'm happy with that so that's great first attempt at a double walled vase and that's fine <laughs> so thank you very much for watching stay muddy and have a magic day bye